，这么大的地儿不打架。Watch it, Star Lord. And what's a filthy scut-stained Terran doing out here, Rosen? Hiding's what I think, Garrick. Uh, Terrans always be hiding. Cause everybody knows Terrans are scrawny. And good for you. Uh, if you're into that, we might be into that. Except for the bounty. Hey, guys. Wouldn't happen to know where Cosmo's office is, would you? I get the distinct feeling that you're looking for someone of the Earth persuasion. <laughs> I get it, man. I get it. Us Earthers, we all look the same. It's not like you guys who very clearly look different. Get to the point, Terran. The point is, is I can help you find who you're actually looking for. Terrans do all look the same. Except this Terran's got a word on his back. Just like the bounty says. What's that word on your back say? The uh, I heard nowhere. Hmm. Well, maybe it says Star Lord. Either way, get him. We've been hired to clobber some Terran with words on his jacket. Uh, <laughs> uh, lots of people have jackets. Yeah. But you're the one the lady wanted, so hurry up and die! Okay, okay. Yep, yeah, yeah, time out. <sighs> Woo! Heart is pumping. <laughs> Guys, it's very clear that we're evenly matched. Ha! No, we ain't. We're completely invincible. Oh, well, that sucks. But we're all professionals here, right? Right? Maybe we can work something out.
Come on, it's gonna be sick. It's about these zombies that invade Earth, and then it's up to these kids that have to blow them away. Of course you would remember that, and then I ask you if you packed your lunch and you give me a blank stare. I'll be careful, Mom. I always am. Not so fast. Before you go, there's something I want to talk to you about, something I want to give you. 20 bucks? Don't push it. Hmm. Think of it as a long overdue gift from your father. It's upstairs on my bed. Go on and get it while I finish up in the kitchen. And we can open it together. This brown, brown tie. Tie with you for brown tie. For this year. Hey Kubrick, buddy. No matter how long you wait here for Grandma and Grandpa, they're not coming back. Sorry. Yeah, sure. Don't go all hard, they don't. She's not going to go. She's not going to go. She's not going to go. I knew you wouldn't wait. Mm. Do you know what a birthright is, Peter? Mm. It's something that's a part of you. Like your name. Before your father returned to space. Oh, Mom. I know it sounds crazy and that you've never believed me, but something has changed. And now more than ever, you need to trust me. And maybe this will help. Maybe I have. Wow. Easy there, cowboy. These belong to your father. I used to think he left these for our protection. But they might as well be paperweights. Hmm? Don't mess up. Then maybe they're protection enough. Protection from what? Hmm. Your father wasn't just from another planet, Peter. He was... He was important. And important men have enemies. Hmm. What sort of enemies? I'm not sure exactly. His people were at war. And he knew that if he stayed with us, oh. the war would follow him to Earth. So he made the hard choice. He gave up this life for the sake of his people. Your father left to protect us. And for 13 years it worked. But now something's coming. I know we're being watched. Mom, if you really want to play a game that bad, you could have just said so. I hope I'm wrong, Peter. I really do. But being the son of a king on any planet means that you are going to have a target on your back for the rest of your life. And you're plenty brave. But you're going to have to be smart. Things may get messy. I'm gonna let Kubrick out. I'll be right back. 
Buddy, what are you doing there? You scuts got lucky. You almost turned around. Word is murdered. That's what he said. Sheesh, no use being pediatric. Mm. Oh, crap. Would kill a lot of you. Not you. Yes, you big words. Nope. Lady H won't be you alive. Not too alive. Well, then you have failed your mission. Miserably. You look well. These lackluster bounty hunters claim Lady Hellbender hired them to kill us. Hey, we ain't no slouches. We're part of the league now. No, no, no. You said yourself she'd hunt us to the end of the universe. I had hoped she'd send a monster. Not these two. We would have murderized you. But don't worry. There's more to come. Did you hear that, Peter Quill? A silver lining. Yeah, that's great, Drax. <laughs> Won't be long in these clabber traps. Not a Nice that you finally showed up. Would have been even nicer if you didn't abandon me in the first place. I never left. One minute we're having a great time, and the next. Wait a second, did you use me as bait? Huh. Well, your plan worked. A little too well, seeing how we're in jail now. We're all in prisons of our own making, Peter. <laughs> Hey, this is a big mistake. I'm innocent. Cosmo, are you out there? Cosmo! Hello? Cosmo? I really need to use the bathroom. Yeah, get your mitts off of him. Oh, I'll do more than that. I'll murderize you. Uh. <laughs> hey, guys. Didn't expect to see you here. Yeah, cram it, Flatnard. Flatnard? Yeah, and a scrub crew in one, too. Shut up and get in there. <sighs> Come on, dude. What's your problem? You are. That's why we quit. <laughs> yes, you did. Now stop talking to him. <laughs> Rocket, buddy, come on. We had a good thing going. You and Groot are better than two-bit bounty hunters. Scoff. What did you say? I said scoff. You don't say scoff, you just scoff. Oh, so now I don't express myself <laughs> proper like? You know what? You're a real piece of... What do you think I was going to say? I'm roughing that too. I mean, man, what? You 
Ruffin in front of me? I told you a bajillion times, I'm not a Ruffin animal! What are you talking about? You Guardian of galaxies will tell Cosmo why they broke into Continuum Cortex. Or Cosmo will conjure worse psychic Gulag. Broke into the... Do not feed Cosmo cat biscuits, Pyotr Kyo. <laughs> you work with blood brothers. Create distraction. So pesky raccoon and sentient tree friend can use continuum cortex. Cosmo also know Guardian of Galaxies have Nova Tracker on ship. Okay, I'm sure it's just one big misunderstanding. Right? Right. We're here because something happened on the no Ooh. Guardian of Galaxy, we're on Nova Rock. Yeah, we went to find Centurion Corral and pay our fine. Why? Strange transmissions spreading across galaxy. Like rabbits in springtime. Cosmos sent many team to investigate, none return. Now Nova Rock sending the same signal. Guardian of Galaxy will tell me what they saw. The Nova Corps were killing each other. It was like they were drinking funky juice or something. Or joined a cult. Yeah, during that ritual with the priest. They kept talking about a promise. <laughs> right away, sir. Fraternity of Raptors. Cult of the Negative Sounds. Universal Church. Whoa, 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 stop. <laughs> that's them. That old man that's with him. Shuttle exploded on the Hallis Hope. <laughs> Grand Unifier Raker. Leader of the Universal Church of Truths. That name ring bell for Cosmo. He's old cult. Very powerful during Galactic War. Now, not so much. You said the rock was transmitting a signal. What if the religion were somehow... And yet, the Universal Church of Truths died with gold skin God. Let us investigate the Hallow's Hope for you. <gasps> what? You said none of your teams return, right? Seems to me like you're short-staffed. We want to find out what happened as much as you do. We do. So let us investigate for you. Always catch, Peter Quinn. <laughs> and not <laughs> fun kind with ball. <laughs> <laughs> What Guardian of Galaxies want to be the... Simple. Drop the charges. Contact Nova Corps HQ and get the world mind to forgive our fine. Then we'll go. It's not being so easy. Face it, Dog Breath. You need us. Us? For now. Unless you got someone else stupid. In Soviet Russia, Cosmo would not trust words of Kennedy <laughs> scum. But this is not motherland. And Cosmo no power of collateral. Guardian ship stay on nowhere. What? You can't take our ship. My ship. How are we gonna find the Hallow's Hope? Ask Pesky Raccoon. Now come. Essences of time. <laughs> Where are we going exactly? To original settlement. From early days, before Kiva could come. You mean the first mining colony is still here? Duh. Now abandoned, mostly. Entirely restored. Uh.
This is the place you broke into. Broke implies it took effort. Wait, this is the Continuum Cortex? It's the best way to reach Nova ship before it moves again. We found Corel. Where is she? Nova ship currently in the leader system, orbiting Michael. Contraxia. Cosmo not surprised. Pesky raccoon enjoy garbage planet. Their restrooms do provide valuable information. The entire planet now broadcasts same signal as Nova Rock. Cosmo not understand purpose or intention. All them bars, betting parlors, no brothels. Maybe it's not such a bad thing after all. Don't worry, Cosmo. We'll get to the bottom of this weird broadcast. Or die trying. No way, dude. I've got your back. I am Groot. Thanks, Groot. I know you do. How many people know about this place? Enough. It's not broadcast across galaxies, but scientists come from many backgrounds. If Thanos had known this was here... Ah, dead Titan King no longer concerned for cause. I am surprised the rodent was able to bypass your security systems. Pesky raccoons are known for entering yards uninvited. <laughs> Is the puppy mad that I outsmarted him? Cosmo's ancestor is Wolf. Even human, like Piotr Quill, fear Wolf. Perhaps Pesky Raccoon. So, what is this? Like another elevator? They'll figure it out. Please to stand back, Guardian of Galaxies. Oh, magnificent witchcraft is this? I know. It's like they've never seen a giant trans-dimensional hand before. Please, to step in ball. What if things go sideways? How do we get back? With passport. Can communicate with Cosmo, and if emergency, bring Guardian of Galaxies back. Better you take it than Captain Valor over here. This time, investigate Nova ship. Use passport to report findings. And you'll speak to the world mind? You get rid of that fine, right? Those won't do the best. Good luck, Guardian of Galaxies. Anyone see any seatbelts? You better not throw up this time. This is... Sorcery? I was going to say dizzying. We get used to it. We in space? We're somewhere between space, between dimensions, between time, between reality. Mm -hmm. What do you mean, between? We could theoretically go wherever and whenever with this thing. Even the places that don't exist, but uh, do. It's incredible. Avengers! Huh? Assemble! What kind of name is Avengers? <laughs> Over us. Who are these gods you speak of? Goddesses. Uh, Drax? <laughs> I am not the one laughing. It's obviously an ill omen of our impending deaths. No matter where you hide, I will fight. No. Or it's an alternate reality. <laughs> I know that sound. Definitely an alternate reality. Hey, it's Spider Man! Wait, is that Earth? Mom? Come on, you're late for the promise here. Come on in, Janie. Peter will be up in a second. Really? Janie? Okay, next stop, Alice Hope. Probably. <gasps> Clark Alice! Breath. Okay, here we go! Okay. Do we look okay? Well, hang in there. I'll try to restore gravity. Oh, great. We're gonna be stuck like this forever. Rocket, buddy, what am I looking for? Drax, tell Scott Lord most ships use external power conduits to generate pseudo gravity in hyperbaric airlocks. The beast says it's find the power conduits. Right, and what do those look like? Tell him any vestiges of power should show up on his visor. And to stop asking so many Clarkin questions and get us down from here. Something terrible happened here. What gave it away? The lack of gravity or the 
the general destruction. Both are undeniable. Not seeing anything useful. Somebody tell him I ain't gonna do all his work for him. Use your visor, Peter. Sure. That's all right. The go do danger mission. Cosmo fix. Not to worry. <laughs> ah, an accurate impersonation. I am impressed. The mutt's playing us for patsies. Some kind of battery. Looks undamaged. Could be useful. Someone tells Scott Lord to hold on to it. Hold on to it, Peter Quill. Any day now, Peter. Yes, our investigation cannot continue until we exit this room. Anyone else thinking Rocket should be the one with the rocket boots? Have you checked the walls, Peter? Dog mentioned an odd transmission, but I do not hear it either. Could be on a higher. Okay, I got the battery installed, Gamora, but nothing's happening. Seriously? Uh, fine, I'll tell them. Listen up, slug breath. Tell me what you see. Uh, there's a blue wire and two connections, yellow and red, and one big green thing. Don't touch the green thing! Not a great time to start yelling, dude. Okay, okay. First, plug the wire to either connection. All we need is a little jump start. To either one? It's not brain surgery, just pick one. I have begun to... Uh, here goes nothing! Oh, crap! Was not restored. You had one job, Will. I did exactly what. <laughs> Impressive, Peter Quill. I didn't know you could do that. Neither did I. Those firearms have become quite formidable. Second time they've transformed like that. Third. If that was the third time, when was the first? The day I was kidnapped. When my mom died. We should continue our investigation for the dog. We'll need to get this wreckage out of the way first. Root's right. Should move if we give it a jolt. Tell me more about this job. Why? I'm attempting to find common ground with you. I think the gravity's still out in your brain there, pal. Someone tell Quill we should move this so we can get moving. Who are those big red chumps he tussled with? A couple of idiots called the Blood Brothers. Lady Halbender sent them. Guess she's still sore then. The Monster Queen's rage is unending. I do not believe I could move this twin. What do you mean a code word? Fine. Brood won't call the mud until we all agree on a code word. Could be useful if we get cornered by whatever's on the ship. How about Quill Kill? The code word is sweep the leg. And we should hold off calling Cosmo until we figure out what's going on. We should also standardize our use of the term dog report item to distinguish information of interest to our investigation. Yep. Sure thing, buddy. Dog report item. Something caused Nova Corps to abandon their ship. 
Maybe they all just quit. Some people don't give up when things start going wrong. Was that a crack? No, it was a pointed criticism. Can we just focus on what happened here? I agree. The dog's investigation is our priority. And finding out what happened to Corel and Nikki. that mutt knew what we were getting into here. He did not require much convincing. Wonder how many made it out alive. Not many. Explain your pessimism. Alive people let someone know they're alive. Drax, gonna need your stopping powers here. Of course, I believe it will lead to you. Transfer power to it? I'm not the one with the zappy guns. Why does that keep happening? There, you all felt that, right? Yep. The same thing happened when I tried to restore the gravity. It ain't never as evolved, is it? Dast. Looks just like what happened on the rock. Indeed. It was a desperate attempt at a last defensive position. Or scorch marks are from standard issue Nova rifles. If this was a fight, then where are all the bodies? Good point. There weren't any in the evacuation hangar either. Maybe everyone escaped. I wouldn't get your hopes up, Peter. Okay, we need to get to Corell's office. Someone tell Quill. Come on, dude. Can't we just talk to each other? Fine. You do know your girlfriend probably didn't make it. Now you are just being spiteful. Still nothing. Dog report item. Power outage in several sections of the ship. What are we missing? Let's run through it all. We got arrested by your girlfriend. As did the churchman Grand Unifier Raker, and then his ship exploded. And maybe that's where it started. Raker might have had something on his ship. Yeah, maybe. The explosion could have released it. I've 
used something like that before. Right. Pump it into the vents and it spreads through the vent. Uh, should we be worried? If we haven't already gone crazy, we might be safe. I wonder if the ship's connection to the world mine has also been severed. If we find some kind of console, I can check. Perhaps Lady Hellbender sent a worthy beast to devour. Why does that keep happening? There, you all felt that, right? Yep. The same thing happened when I tried to restore the gravity. <laughs> it ain't never his fault, is it, Groot? <laughs> Dast. Looks just like what happened on the rock. Indeed. It was a desperate attempt at a last defensive position. Good bottleneck for it. If this was a fight, then where are all the bodies? <laughs> Good point. There weren't any in the evacuation hangar either. Maybe everyone escaped. I wouldn't get your hopes up, Peter. Okay, we need to get to Corell's office. Someone tell Quill. Come on, dude. Can't we just talk to each other? Fine. You do know your girlfriend probably didn't make it. <laughs> now you are just being spiteful. <laughs> Still nothing but emergency power. Dog report item. Power outage in several sections of the ship. What are we missing? Let's run through it all. We got arrested by your girlfriend. As did the Churchman Grand Unifier Raker, and then his ship exploded. So maybe that's where it started. Raker might have had something on his ship. A gas, maybe? The explosion could have released it. I've used something like that before. Right. Pump it into the vents, and it spreads through the ship. Uh, should we be worried? If we haven't already gone crazy, we might be safe. Dog report item. Wish I knew the layout of this tub better. Then we could figure out where this started. You know where we are, Gamora? Not really. Nova never really let me out of their sight. They had good reason not to trust you. <laughs> this again? I was only stating that Nova's position of not trusting them is accurate. The longer we bicker, the more we might miss. Very inspirational. Yeah, you get that off the place, man? All I'm saying is we're in this up to our necks, and we'll need to work together to get out of it. I should have used the opportunity on nowhere to eat. Me too. Would have loved a bowl of their noodles. They're the greatest. Nah, those foom pies are the greatest. This whole situation could have been avoided if we had gone after Fin Fang Foom. No wonder we've been stumbling around in the dark. Whoa, ho, ho, look at you, you sexy beast. Ah, uh, flirting rocket. Is it supposed to be upside down? Uh, only if you wanted to channel all the ship's power up through the ceiling. Makes no sense to me. There must be a reason. A bad one. Try that console. Uh, we can use this to re-invert the core, or uh, uh, de-invert, uh, de de-vert? Rocket. Uh, the console safety lock because the mounting arms are retracted. If we can pop them out of them side panels, we can flip the core. There's got to be more machinery up there. Gamora, give me a boost. Of course. Yeah, right there. It is time. Here it comes. For Peter Quill's mask to guide us with its mysterious power. Ain't nothing mysterious about it. I programmed the Dastin thing. Definitely something up here. Well, that didn't work. Hell yeah, it worked! You know, them guns would make better engineering tools than weapons. Nice try. Let's get the other one free. Gamora, let's get the second one done. Okay. Right here. All right.
我操，摁错了，大哥们。Long have I craved to win a battle like this, Peter Quill. What are the others to stand down so that I may finish it alone? Uh, no. If anyone's gonna win this alone, it'll be me and my blade. Dudes, we're talking about fighting alone. We're a team. We fight better together. Because out on that field, it's all for one and one for all. And that's exactly how we win this time. Who's with me? Victory is ours! Nice one, Peter! Let's... Find a way up there and discover why. With the dog report. Oh, Rocket, you. what's that console telling you? That you should come do the honors. Okay. Just a zebel. Eat the quail. Get a robot to show us out here. What's the end? What's the end? You need some layout. 完了，暗影打击有，普鲁克就就就那个有用，我觉得根基也没什么用。这个击飞不如控制好。哦，这个冷却时间对，哎。啊，可是，重逢不太行。不用学，这个冷却时间好好短。Nobody respects their engineers these days. If you want efficiency, you gotta make whoa, Clark. Walking clamps, they're shutting us down. More freaks approach. Clarkers de reinverted the core again. We'll just have to re de reinvert it back. After we take some heads, stay clear of the mine. Watch the large ones explode. Dude with walkers. 
Sockets. Ain't gonna work, Musclehead. But this time we've got a control room to play with. Looks like I can remove the clamps from here. Good. We will not be stopped by clamps. Duh! Sneaky dash bags. They scrambled the power circuit so I can't release them. I'm tired of these clamps. Gonna have to reroute the circuits one by one to reset the power grid. Here, I'll get the door for you. You should be able to see the grid with your visor. Okay, visor's up. Now what? You should see power grids along the walls around here. Find their powered up nodes. Looking for glowy power nodes. Right. When you find them, you need to electrify the junction switch in the direction you want the power to flow. Shoot them with electricity? Groot, I think I have an idea. Looks like the wall's weak here. Use your roots to raise that platform with me on it. Kind of a root root boost thing. He's eager to try the root root boost. He's always helpful. Maybe we should just call Cosmo, tell him we tried, and port the Flark out of here. It ain't our fault it's got the Flark down. We will not fail at our mission. I mean, that sounds great and all, but we usually fail at our mission. Not this time. Our work here is important. Heave it, Groot. Up we go. Can you give me another ride, Groot? Just about there. That's got to be one of the power nodes. Just need to reroute it. that do anything? Not yet. You'll have to reroute a couple of them.
capable of extreme violence. Gamora, can you pry this wall open? No, I just end up wrecking my blade. Drax, I need a hole here to reach the grid. And you will have one. That's another power node. Might be gunning for your job soon. You want to trade? I'm happy to sit in the captain's seat. You frequently sit in the captain's seat. I did not just hear that. You know, normally you're not supposed to travel through dimensions without a quarantine and a decompression on the other side. Should we be concerned? Just keep an eye out for the warning signs. Mental degradation, paranoia, aggressive. I feel like that's already an accurate description of our team. How will we tell? Perhaps the Nova Killer knows how to redirect these machines. She has experience. I was an assassin, not a saboteur. Same results either way, right? Would you rather paint with a paintbrush or a mop? Neither. I use explosives. Somebody else does the mop. <laughs> Got a locked door. Can you open it? No. Can you run power to it? Not from here. I'll try to find a way around. Right there guiding me. Peter Quill is insinuating that you, Weasel, could be the cause of our problems. Uh, hurry it up, Quill. Lumpy slugging everybody with his color commentary. Groot, need your help, buddy. Root boost, please. <laughs> Gamora, think you can lift this panel with me on it? <laughs> How about no? How about that no? <laughs> right about there. Can you guess on what they're doing with all that power? They are recharging their personal devices. Their what? Their electronic tablets and assorted communication gadgetry. And do you think they would need power from the ship's core for that? I am no expert in Nova technology. One more time, Groot. That's great right there. Smart of the Nova Corps. Uh huh. Another power node. Huh. What did that open? So, is there any chance of Quill getting back together with the lady in law? <laughs> She's no lady. She'd never set her standards that low anyway. That's factually untrue. <laughs> Yeah. 
过来。Open and I got the power flowing through. Almost qualified to be a junior engineer. Thanks. Without your button pusher. Oh. Now that we know the infected Nova are here, we can agree that whatever's going on upstairs is really bad, right? They were furious when we removed their power source. Must be important to their effort. Can't wait to smash it. Whatever it is. And then get back the Cosmo for our reward. All right, this is our floor. Are sealed tight. Just look for another way out. Drax, hit that panel where all the wires connect. Step aside. Come out to the coast. We'll get together, have a few laughs. What's that? Uh, nothing. No, that. They must have flipped the core back. Something's powering up again. Yay. I'm sorry. Apology accepted. Really? That's it? In case you hadn't noticed, there's more important things happening right now than Quilt saying <laughs> he's sorry. <laughs> Whoa! Flark and Scott! What are these frackling kaboons doing to Contraxia? What is this thing, Rocket? I don't know. Looks like it's siphoning something. Something to do with those cubes? No, no! I gotta get a closer look! Peter Quill, we have been in this hangar before! Siphoning energy from Contraxia. Don't forget the energy cubes. Dog report item. Energy stored in strange cubes. Don't go here. Root! We need to check out that giant ray thing. Can you get us across? <laughs> Taking out the entire ship! And us with it! <laughs>
Let's avoid the scary beam. Good advice. Guardian of Galaxies, Cosmo check. Investigation lead him to believe Palo is key to galaxy mystery. What is that noise? We are compiling an extensive dog report. There's trouble on the ship. Big, loud trouble. Give specifics. Nova Corps has gone bananas. There was a battle, but no bodies anywhere. Oh, and there's this giant freaking ray gun. Have Guardian found Centurion Corel? Not yet. Guardian must, must find her. May have answers we need. Hmm. This is what I want to kill him. You think this is loud? Imagine being planet side. Contractions were awful, but they don't deserve this. Four, man. 